don't we? It's known for its snowy mountains, its wide open spaces, its tiny population. But according to the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal, the editorial page, by the way, our parent company owns the Wall Street Journal, the state's governor's office is a powerhouse. The editorial there cites a political power index that claims Sarah Palin, as the governor of Alaska, has more executive power than even the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Which is probably true, because there they have all of those propositions in place and they don't have a lot to do. You know, that's part of the deal. The index considers potential length of service, control over the budget, the authority to make appointments. Governor Palin has line item veto over the state's $12 billion budget, which isn't huge, but line item veto, hey, that's, that's power. With us now is John Fund, a columnist for the Wall Street Journal, which again is owned by the parent company of this network. If I were just tuning in, I'd say, oh, well, they're making this two, they're trying to build up this two-year job of Governor Palin's. It's a very important one, a very, very tough and powerful one. Right, John? Look, Alaska is a small state, but all governors are not created equal. The governor of Vermont, for example, has almost no executive power. The legislature dominates there. The governor of Alaska is so powerful, only four states in the country have equal powers in that governorship, and only one, Massachusetts, has more power. So in terms of the ability of a governor to implement their vision, in terms of controlling the state bureaucracy and the state budget, the Alaska governor house is a powerhouse. And to what degree has Governor Palin exercised that? power into what end? Well, she's chopped nearly 10 percent out of the budget in line item vetoes. She negotiated a natural gas pipeline contract, which is somewhat controversial, but it, she got the job done when the previous administration didn't. And in only 19 months, she has started to streamline a lot of the bureaucracy. Now, there are her critics who would say that she has a brusque style, that she's replaced too many cabinet people, but she would say, I was elected she to, to implement change. Well, the, the old Republican cabinet was the part of the Republican Party she didn't like. It right. was the part of the machine party. Some of those members have gone to jail since then. She was brought in with a fresh broom to clean house. All right, John. Well, it, it, certainly, it certainly is a governor's office with a lot of power, especially when you compare it to like Arnold Schwarzenegger. In, Cal in California, there's so many propositions, they aren't even allowed to go to the bathroom without, without lots of permissions. I am from California. Sometimes the governor there simply says, look, I used to, be, I used to play in, politic, in movies a politician. <laughs> Sometimes I feel I'm doing the same thing because I don't have any real power. <laughs> John Fun from the Wall Street Journal. Great to see you. Thank you.